I want to talk about prayer and let me say this. I know that it may seem very, very boring to pray. I understand that. And it may feel like a constant fight to pray. I understand that. And with some, maybe when you pray, after you get done praying, it feels like you are so drained. And that is how I feel at times as well. But I am here to tell you, even if you feel very drained, continue to pray anyways because prayer has so much power in it. Well, actually, your faith in God, let me say this, your faith and praying in faith to God has a lot of power in it. Why do I say this? Now, I can tell you about other things that happened when I prayed, but let me say this. Oh yes, let me say this before I get to my main point. Now, you may not understand this. Well, some people may, but certain things happen happens to distract me from praying either demonic intimidation or anything like that and at certain times I can see things and hear things as well trying to intimidate me to not pray or pray in a certain type of way so whenever demons are trying to distract you or intimidate you from praying that should show you how effective you are being while you are praying and it shows you how important prayer is let me share with you a supernatural experience <clears throat> now this one day I believe it was like a week ago or so I was feeling a very strong urge to pray and at that point of time usually when I want to pray like I feel very drained and out of it or when I begin to pray it feels like something comes over me and drains me and stuff like that but at that point I wasn't really drained I actually had energy <laughs> which is quite strange but anyways I was praying and I was thinking about people and praying for them binding and casting demons out of their lives binding and casting demons about any person and any issue and stuff like that I believe I was praying for about I forget maybe an hour or two I forget and then usually when I pray I get really 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 tired so I believe I went to sleep afterward and if you have seen my other videos I tell you when you dream dreams many of our dreams are not really dreams they are supernatural experiences but anyways I went to sleep and I thought that I was dreaming Give me a second, please. I thought that I was dreaming and it felt like I was in this realm here, but now that I think of it, I was in an other realm. And this may sound crazy to you, but until you start to believe in God fully and surrender everything to God and fully trust in God and elevate more in God, you are going to understand what I am saying. But anyways, I was in this other realm and sometimes one by one or in groups of two, I forget how everything was, but demons were coming like running at me 
<laughs> like I was in this other realm. I was fully aware and either one by one or in groups of two or so, demons were running out me. I mean, running at me. So what I would do, I would hold my hand out and say, demons, I bind and cast you out right now. And when I would say that, the group or that one demon would disappear. Then an other demon would come toward me or a group of two. And that continued to happen group by group until I woke up. And while I was waking up, like I was still saying, demons are binding, cast you out over and over and over again. And while I was waking up, I thought that I was still in that realm. Let me say this too. When I was in that other realm, I could see the demons' faces. Man, this is one of the reasons why I tell you, don't watch secular television shows. Television shows, movies that has nothing to do with God. I know, you know, I used to watch I guess TV shows that were from HBO and Showtime and stuff like that and I know people like to watch zombies and other demonic stuff the creatures and monsters that they are showing you those are demons what I was seeing I was seeing things that they place on TV. Those are demons. So when you are watching those things, being entertained by them, you are being entertained by things that are made by demons. So when you watch it, I believe, I don't know exactly how the process starts and ends, but I believe when you watch TV shows that are not of God, especially those that show demons and all that stuff there, I believe in some way or fashion, a demon gets attached to you in some way or they intervene in your life in some type of way. I believe that. This is why I tell you stay away from secular music, secular television shows, movies, anything that has nothing to do with God. Because when you are watching it and entertaining it, I want to say this right. How can I say that? When you are watching that stuff, you are entertaining yourself with it. I wanted to say something else, but I want to say it right, so I am not going to say it, so because I don't want to confuse anyone. So don't watch that stuff, man. I am telling you, each time when I would have a supernatural experience, the demon that I would see would look similar to the monsters and stuff that you would see in horror movies or and movies about monsters and beasts and stuff like that. Like this movie that came out, Beauty and the Beast, where I don't know what that movie is all about, but I believe I saw a picture where this woman was dancing with a beast, with a demon. With a demon, man. That is insane. We have to take our lives more seriously. This is why I tell people to surrender everything to God. Give everything to God. Give up all these sins and stuff like that because you have no idea what you are dealing with. Even with the small amount of things that I am shown and the things that I experience, I am pretty sure that there is so much more that God 
has not shown me. But that supernatural experience that I had, look, even if the demons, look, in that supernatural experience, those demons was not able to touch me or anything. But when I saw their faces, that was torment all by itself. I don't know if you all understand what I am saying. Even if, let's say that you go to hell or something, and let's say that the demons can't touch you. Seeing them by itself is torment by itself because they are really hideous. And for the people who believe that demons are your friends and stuff like that, demons hate each other. So why would a demon want to be your friend? Only reason they make it seem like you have power over them is to trap you in what you are doing so when you die, you are going to hell with them or they are going to take you to hell. My Lord, man. These demons are not playing around. I never, with all the supernatural experiences that I had, I never seen a happy demon like very happy like a true happiness now i have seen them in my visions and stuff like that with this evil grin and stuff like that but that is not happiness that is an evil grin that is not happiness my lord so repent of your sins and stop sinning because what you are doing that you may think that is so enjoyable, that is a sin, it's not really enjoyable. Only reason it may seem like it is fun because you don't know what is really going on when you are doing those things. You have no idea. But when you get closer to God, he is, he is going to start opening things up to you so you can see some of the things that were going on and you will and you will have more knowledge of demons and stuff like that they are nothing to play with so I pray that this makes sense God bless